Hey there, gorgeous. Thank you so much for clicking my video. And in today's video, I have another wig show and tell, and this wig is brought to you by I Like Hair. If you're interested in this wig, I will be sure to leave the website link below in the description box with other interesting links that you might be interested in. And if I can get a coupon code, I will be sure to leave it in the description box as well. So the wig came really neatly packaged. It is already giving <laughs> realness. When you order, they send you some extra items in the box. I got two wig caps, a I like hair rat tail comb, and a pouch that comes with a I like hair edge band, a edge brush slash comb, two hair clips, and a I like hair pin. Here is a close up of the inside cap construction. It comes with a 13 by four lace frontal parting space. Behind the frontal parting space, there are three combs with another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. They also inserted a removable adjustable elastic band. This wig was made on a stretch fit material. And as for the lace, they use soft lace. The hair on the wig feels like tight, curly hair. It feels really nice and soft, and it also looks like coily hair. This is how the wig looks straight out of the package. This is I Like Hair Afro Kinky Curly with Edges HD Lace Bob Wig. Look at the edges. The edges come kinky, curly, and it is definitely giving realism. As for the knots, the knots come very lightly bleached. The hair color is a natural black color. In my honest opinion, I Like Hair did a great job making this wig look realistic. This looked like some real Afro textured hair. They did that. This hair is gorgeous. I'm gonna show you guys what this wig looked like in its natural state. And I'm also going to show you guys how the coils look defined. Either way you decide to style it and wear it, it's a win-win, but only if you're looking for something that looks realistic because y'all, this wig is unclockable. First, I'm gonna go in and tint my lace. I use the True Match Lace Tint in the shade Bronze, and I sprayed one layer of this underneath the lace, and then I blow dried it until it's completely dried. I will show you guys how I do it on camera, but I don't like tinting my lace on camera because it gets on my walls. I got some bad news, y'all. So I had a clip of me trying on this wig in its natural state so you guys can see what it looked like before I defined it, but I accidentally deleted it when I was clearing up some storage. So I wanted to show you guys how it looked on another influencer. Her name is Curly Mane, and she slayed the natural texture look. Like it is gorgeous, definitely look real. I love how this wig looks in its natural state and defined. So I'm gonna show you guys another influencer in the end so you guys can see how this wig look in its natural state as well i am so sorry about that i like hair but it's gorgeous y'all i'm not gonna hold y'all it's definitely looking real so when i went in and defined the curls on the blockhead first i brushed out the hair and then i went in with some water in a spray bottle combed out the curls and then i went in with some near ob rapid shine foaming lotion to help lock in the curls and define the look and just a side note to you guys, everything that I do in the video, you guys do not have to go ahead and do. I just show you guys what I did. So if you're interested in how I got my end results, you guys know how I got there.
So this is how the wig came out after I was all done defining the curls. And I'm going to leave this wig on the blockhead so it can dry overnight. If you do go in and define your curls, you can always go in with a diffuser and dry your hair. Now I'm gonna cut off the extra lace in the front and to cut off the extra lace, I'm going in with eyebrow razors and I'm just making sure that I'm pushing the baby hairs back and I'm taking the eyebrow razor and I'm cutting right along the hairline. There is some lace in the nape area. Be sure to cut that off as well. And this is how the wig looks fully dry on my mannequin head. And Tiara is serving. I want to show you guys what it looks like in natural sunlight. Now it is time for the wig install. So I already went in and tinted my lace. So because I did that, I am not going to apply any makeup powder underneath. Right there in the back is where I hooked my adjustable straps and I am using the adjustable elastic band to help keep my wig in place and it also helps the wig feel nice and snug. Okay, hold on, hold on, don't sleep on it yet. I saw a vision for this wig, I saw a vision. So now after trying on the wig, I know the curls is sticking together, it definitely needs to be fluffed out some more. But let's get this hairline to lay all the way down. To help hold down my lace for this wig show and tell, I'm gonna go in with the olive oil super hold spray. I spray one layer of that onto my skin, blow dry it a little, then put the lace onto the spray, and then I blow dry it until it's completely dry. If you guys noticed, I only sprayed by my ear tab. The lace is laying down pretty flat. I'm not too worried about the other side because there's hair covering up the other ear. So I'm just showing the illusion of the other side so it can look, you know, real. <laughs> Now I'm going to take a little bit of this Maybelline Fit Me powder and I'm going to apply some of this powder on top of my lace to the parting space. This just helped my parting space look a little bit more like scalp and also help hide my wig cap underneath. Okay, so right here is my end result on me and Bind2. I hope I said her name right, but she is slaying that natural curly state. Definitely follow her page, check her out. I think, like I said, the wig looks gorgeous, defined or not defined. Either way, it looks real. And the end result is really nice. This wig right here, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Don't ask me for it. It's a keeper, it's mine come on through i like hair so again on their website this is their afro kinky curly with kinky edges hd lace bob wig i have this in the length 14 inches and this is their 13 by 4 hd lace wig cap the length of the wig on me i would say is about eight inches the hair density is 180% and I definitely believe it. The hair on this wig is very thick. When I was defining the curls on this wig, I did get shedding. The shedding I would say is about medium. Like I got a good amount of hair that came out, but it's still a good amount of hair that's left. Um, most of the shedding came from the tracks when I was defining it, defining it. Most of it didn't come from the frontal, so that's a plus. And like I said, this hair is 
thick, y'all. Like it was shedding like real life hair on somebody's head, but nothing too bad where it was like, okay, return to sender, abort this mission. No, you don't have to abort this mission. This wig is a very nice grab. And anybody could get a tight, deep curl hair pattern, but the edges on this wig is what makes the wig pop. The edges look realistic. I love, love, love the edges. I like hair did their thing on that one. This wig only do come in one size, which is 22.5 inches. On their website, they state that's a standard medium cap. But if you have a larger head, like 23 inches, I do have stretch cap room material left in there. So I feel like you can get away with it. But anything larger than that, I don't know. I feel like you're going to have to fight. It's very unbelievable that this is a wig. I love it 110%. If you're looking for a good everyday wig, that's not clockable, I honestly recommend. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Hit the thumbs up if this video helped you in any type of way or if you like to just support your girl. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks again for watching and please be safe out there.